Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Using Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this amazing text reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition as always and as always we will name it as Main Animation. Width I'll take 1920, height 1080, frame rate is 30 and duration is 1.30 seconds. And for the background color I'll choose solid black and hit OK. Go to the choose grid and guide option and hit title selection. Hit Ctrl T to select our text tool which is over here and I'll type on text you can type any text I'll select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center simply go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically I'll press s for scaling option and scale this text a little bit go to the character menu and I'll choose some medium uh font type of this one and as you can see i'll choose the oswald font and for the font pixels and let's say yeah 150 looks good to me and for the color i'll choose white color hit ctrl d on keyboard and over here i'll delete this field and i'll choose white color for the stroke and for the stroke width i'll choose one pixels and i'll move this text over here and this one over here yep yeah, this looks good to me now after that what we will do we will select this one and this one press p for position property alt click on this position and simply apply wiggle effect on it let's say 4 comma 4 hit ctrl 8 to select this expression hit ctrl c to copy that expression select this one alt click on the stopwatch hit ctrl v if i hit play as we can see we will get this wiggly effect over here yep now i'll select both of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as text wiggle animation and simply hit ok now after that what we will do we will create one rectangle over here and simply double click hit u select this rectangle and by holding shift i'll drag it up to this and i'll choose alpha mat if you are not getting this simply hit f4 to switch between these options and i'll go to the track mat i'll choose alpha mat select both of them hit ctrl d select this second one not second one but the first one thing and choose alpha inverted map now we will hide this one for now because we need to deal with this one first so i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll apply cc scale wipe just like this and for the stretching value i'll choose 50 direction i'll choose zero and I'll drag my anchor point over here let's say and create one keyframe on the center and hit U zoom in a little bit go to the 3.5 seconds and I'll simply drag this anchor point up to here select those keyframes and hit F9 now select this comb select this effect hit ctrl C to copy that effect I'll hide this one for now and I'll unhide this one for now and hit ctrl V hit U now we don't want same keyframes over here so I'll delete those keyframes and I'll again make it 540 which is our initial value and for the direction I'll choose 180 degree and over here initially I'll drag this anchor point up to here and create one keyframe and at 3.5 seconds i'll drag this over here now select this one and hit f9 
now unhide both of them and if i hit play we are getting this kind of reveal animation over here now select both of them press ctrl shift c i'll call it as text reveal now hit ctrl d four times ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d as we can see we have five copies of same animation select this last one go to the effect and presets panel and apply fill effect on it and for the color i'll simply choose red color select the fourth one apply fill effect and for the color i'll choose purple select the third one apply fill effect i'll choose green color hit ok select the second one apply find edge effect on it and click on this invert option now all we need to do we need to adjust it on 5 frames or let's say 10 frames open bracket select this one open bracket one second open bracket and at this point open bracket if i hit play we will get this kind of stuff now go to this animation hit u this animation looks a little bit faster so i'll drag it up to five seconds now if i hit play you will get a little bit slow animation over here or you can simply drag it up to six so on. now if i hit play you will get this kind of animation now after that press ctrl y for create a bg i'll call it as bg and i'll drag this over here and i'll add this one lock this one now after that what i'll do i'll create one adjustment layer go to the cc lens effect and simply apply cc lens effect on it and make this up to like this increase it now, if i hit play you will get something like this now after that i'll create one null object i'll drag this null object here select this one select all of them make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s create one keyframe press r and create one keyframe hit u go to over here i'll increase this scale and i'll rotate it and drag those keyframes up to here now if i hit play get something like this if you want then you can increase the scale little bit so we will get this kind of animation select this one and hit f9 so it will happen a little bit smoother just like this now hit ctrl n and i'll call it as fractal then hit ok press ctrl y to create a bg and i'll apply fractal noise effect on it increase the contrast decrease the brightness up to something like this and simply alt click on this evolution tab and apply time into 100 let's say so it will give us some animation like this and hit u go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 and apply fractal not applying but i'll drag this in fractal over here go over here and now i'll make it apparent with this null drag those keyframes at the start now 
go to the fractal uh, select this one i'll increase a brightness a little bit just like this now you can simply select this null one press p i'll click on this position apply wiggle effect wiggle script sorry and type 3 in comma 3 now we will get some wiggle animation over here also yeah so this is our final animation So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then, stay tuned.